In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reveal the text with the help of this uh, GIF file. You can see here I have downloaded a GIF file from the net and how the slide works is when I click it will just uh, reveal the text. Okay, so let me just show you when I click you can see here I wrote welcome and then uh, the text has been revealed so it is completely editable slide you can replace the text with your own text you can replace a different butterfly or different uh, insect or animal also if you have the gif file and i have created one more slide where i have just changed the background color and i have used the font color as white if you have not subscribed to my channel for Point University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, you can do this with the older version as well. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to copy one uh, GIF file of the butterfly. All right, so I can just copy and paste it, which I've copied from the internet. You can see here, this is the, the GIF or the GIF file. Or you can uh, copy any image or different butterfly image also if you want. Then I'm going to add one text. So you can add any text of your choice. So go to the insert text box and I'm going to type welcome all right and then the font i'm going to choose with this which is the hand of sean and then increase the size depending on your requirement all right so i'm going to keep it something like this and then go to format send this to back all right now i'm going to place this uh, butterfly here at the starting of the w and then if you want to change the color of the font uh, you can uh, the text you can just right mouse click go to the format shape and there are two options here you can see the shape options and text options so i'm going to change the 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 color of the text so i'm going to choose the text options and then i'm going to select the gradient fill uh, by default i have used this one so if you want you can choose any of your color for example if i want i can I can take red also I can take orange also whichever way you want so I've just taken these two colors all right and if you want more darker you can just make it something like this now I'm going to do the animation so how the animation should work means the butterfly will move by each text okay from this one each alphabet and then that the character or the alphabet will appear okay for that let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane I'm going to choose select the the butterfly add animation scroll down you can see there's something called custom path okay just select that one let me just zoom in all right and then I'm going to click here one you can see here I'm just clicking one by one and then you can see here I'm just clicking here here there it goes here all right like this you can just just put it one one stop like this and then it should stop somewhere here double click then all right so now what happened here is the custom path has been created so you can see here how it is going it's going very fast you can see here if i move the text all right so you can see here it has created something like this now if you want uh, to adjust that one what you can do is again you can further zoom this one and i'm going to sorry that was deleted i believe let me just undo that one yeah now you can see here this particular uh, animation i'm selecting and then right mouse click and edit points so you can just make it more kind of a curve also you can see here something like this when i click here i want something like this all right you can see here like this all right so i'm just making one by one so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it or if you don't want to adjust it's up to you also not a problem but you know it's better to always adjust that okay and then you can see here i'm just doing like this and if you want to delete something also you can delete also all right so here it should go like this all right 
and maybe this one I don't need you can simply delete also this one you can see here I can delete like this so if I delete like this then I have to adjust it properly all right you can see here I need to spend some time to adjust this one all right so like this and then you can adjust this also so one by one you need to spend a little bit of time and then adjust it all right so you can see here once the last one okay and here also i'm just going to adjust it all right and here i can drag it down also okay and that's it now what happens let me just play now so when i click see it is going very fast all right so first of all i have to reduce the size the speed so smooth and smooth start you reduce it you can go to the timing maybe you can make it slow three seconds or four seconds whatever so you can see here it is going like this now i'm going to choose the text all right so the text I've selected and then for the text I'm going to select the wipe animation. Wipe animation say this should start from left and this should happen with previous alright. And then double click this one and the timings you can make it maybe slow if you want we can make it 4 seconds also and click ok. So it should go the same speed so let's see when I click you can see here it is coming something like this all right so any text any if you want some different image also you can choose it some different uh, insect or animal or uh, a plant or anything you can just think of you can just replace this one and you can do this simple animation effect